In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the power door lock actuator in this Volkswagen Beetle. Let's get into it. We're going to remove this cover, use a trim tool, just get behind here. Get underneath there and pry it out. It's just snapped in, comes off like that. There's these clips, a couple of a couple of these are broken, but take that out. Now I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. Take these two screws out. Might need a magnet. Underneath there's three screws. We're going to take those out. Use a T20 socket. Take those out. Just going to take a trim tool and just go around the perimeter and just pop out the clips. Those popped out. Just pull the door panel forward. We're going to slide it up. There we go. And slide it out. And we're going to take off the cable that goes to the inside door handle. Pop that out. And then it's just hooked on. Just unhook it. Disconnect the connectors. I'm just going to use a pick to help squeeze the squeeze the connector, and then slide that out. And you have a connector here. Slide that down, and a connector right here for the window switch. Slide that out. We're going to move this cable right here. Just slide that out of that slot right there. There's these covers in here. You want to take those off. You can use a pick or a trim tool. Just get underneath. Just try to pop these covers off. And we're going to have to raise the window a little bit. We have to access where the bolts are for the window. Now we're going to attach the window switch again with the key on and just lower the window so that you can see the two fasteners, the two screws in there. Make sure they're accessible. It's good right there. I can disconnect this again. And shut the key off. Loosen these screws up. I'm gonna use a T30 socket. You don't have to take them out completely, just loosen them. Now we should be able to slide the window up. You want to make sure you wash the window first because we're going to tape the window to the door frame. Slide the window up and it might be a little bit sticky. And we'll just tape it down. Disconnect the connector right here. This is for the mirror that up and out of the way. And the connector for the window regulator. And just pop this up. It's kind of like a ratchet. You just, as you slide it up, it's gonna slide out. You can just use a trim tool or a pick. And just slide that off. Disconnect the connector for the speaker. Just push the two tabs in, slide it up. Now all the retainers, we want to disconnect those. Just use the trim tool, get underneath. Pop these out. Pop that out. There's another one up here. rubber grommet right here. Just pull that through. Just like that. This rubber grommet we can push through. Right there. Just 
use a pick or a trim tool. Same with this one. It's gonna go on the inside. Push that down. We're gonna pop this cover off. You can use a trim tool. Just get underneath, just pop that off. Now I'm gonna use a M4 triple square socket. Loosen up this screw right here. As we loosen the screw, we're gonna be able to take this piece out. Just slide that out like that. Now with the door handle, you can slide that out. And just with a pick, we're just gonna pop this off. This is the cable. That's gonna go inside there. And that can just sit. If you want, you can pull the handle off completely just so it doesn't fall. The cable's just gonna sit right there. Now we're gonna take these two bolts out use an M8 triple square socket. I'm going to use a T30 socket, take these bolts out. Now we're gonna take this panel off, just use a trim tool, just get underneath. It's kind of glued on a little bit, so just go around and just pry it out. Up, slide it out. And this is going to come right out. Now disconnect the electrical connector right here. Just pull down on the tab and slide it off. Just like that. If you have to, you can use a small screwdriver. Just pry down on that. There is a retainer right here. Just use a trim tool and just pop this off, just like that, and slide it out. We're going to take the bracket off with the latch. Right here there's two push pins. You just want to use a punch and just tap those through. And you can separate the bracket from the door panel, just using a trim tool, just get underneath here. Just gently pry it up, just like that. And we can slide this out. Slide the cable and the lock rod out. We're gonna take this bracket off. You're gonna use a drill and drill out this rivet right here. Once that's off, then you can pop this up. We'll slide that off. Take the new latch, you want to slide this in the same way that came off. It's going to go in like that. It's going to snap in place. And make sure you can put that rivet right there. And just use a rivet gun. Now we're going to transfer over the smaller cable here, the other cable and the lock rod. Start with the smaller cable, just pull this lever up and then twist this 90 degrees and then it slides out. Just pull the lever up, hold it up, put it on like that and then you twist it. Flip this over for the lock rod. We're just going to kind of twist this a little bit and it slides right out. So you go under that 
and just twist it in. That's just gonna sit like that. Now the cable, I'm just gonna get under here with a straight blade screwdriver. Just try to pry this up, pop that out. And then this is like a T, you just twist it to the side. You can see that, that's what that looks like. Take that, slide this in here, and twist it, line this up, and lock it in place. Reattach it to the panel right here, slide the cable through here. Just get this lined up, and a lock rod, so you kind of got to do them together, just like that. Reposition the grommet. Just using a screwdriver, push that back in place. And same with the lock rod. Get that in place. And push this in place right here. That'll snap in. And then you take these little retainers and you can push them in from either side. It's probably easier to do it from the back side here. And just push those in. Just tap those in. And we'll slide this close to position. Before we put it in, we do need to connect the connector. So you need to go through here and connect the connector right there. Lock it down. Make sure this cable is going outward. Now very carefully slide this in place. Slide the regulators in. Just get some of the bolts started. I'm just going to get this in position. Raise it up so you can see where the bolts holes are. I'm just using a screwdriver to raise this up and get those bolts in. Now tighten these down. Now take the handle, reinstall that side. Get that lined up like that. Then we gotta take that cable you can use a small pick Get that pushed in all the way, lock it down. You can double check it, make sure it works properly. Now put this piece in place. Now tighten this screw down. And just snug that down, make sure that's tight. Now you can put this cap on. Now we can put all these bolts in. Now those are all in. We're gonna tighten all those down. Now we're gonna put the window down. Take the tape off. And 
And just slide it down carefully. Make sure it lines up in the clamps properly. Which looks like it's all set. And we'll tighten those down. I'll put these caps on, line those up, and just push them in. Before you put this grommet in, there is a push pin right here that would have been easier to put in when this panel was out a little bit. You can just line that up, push that in, and then push the grommet in. Now all the wiring harness, line that up, push those in. The connector for the window motor, pull that up and then line this up. And push it down as you push it on. Speaker wire, connect that. And the wire for the mirror, you can run this down here. All right, all those wires are in position. This can go right here. Now take the door panel. I'll line the connectors up. Get those plugged back in. Connect the connector for the window switch and then the door lock switch is right here. Take the hook of the cable Attach it to the handle. And then push that down. Now line up the lock rod. Get that started. And the top part of the panel, you want to go in where the weather strip is, the window, or the window channel. Right there, that's lined up. Get the pins lined up. With all the pins lined up, just push the panel on. Take the Phillips head screws, line those up, get those started. And tighten those down. Now underneath, take those three screws, get those started. And snug these down. And last, put this cover on, line it up, lock it down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.